Hello, welcome to the last day of this year's Balkan. Um, we will start with risk and open CPU instruction set by Lazar Stritovic. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, um, first, to introduce myself, uh, I'm Lazar Stritovic, as it says on uh, on the uh, uh, screen. Uh, I'm uh, I work as a lecturer at the uh, Faculty of Technical Sciences here at the University of Novi Sad. And today will be helping me uh, Lazar Jurovic, uh, um, a student who is about to arrive with his mom soon, as, uh, 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 I hope. Uh, anyway, uh, how many of you have ever heard of Risk Five? Oh, so a lot of people. Good, because I thought it would be a sort of introductory uh, 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 talk, but uh, okay, so we could move on to some more advanced uh, uh, things if you would like that, yes, of course. Um, first of all, uh, it says uh, RISC V uh, open uh, instruction set architecture. What is instruction set architecture? Well, uh, it's, so, uh, um, it's a, a set of instructions, right, which uh, uh, executes, uh, which, which, which are executed by the CPU. It's basically uh, the place where the software meets the hardware. So um, uh, CPU gets uh, machine code instructions and uh, it executes them. Uh, and you get these machine code instructions by, uh, uh, by the way of, of compiling, or some people uh, uh, might uh, uh, want to, to, to program machine code themselves. I, I wouldn't do that, how are you? Uh, so uh, why is, uh, is uh, ISA important? Well, um, if, uh, is it? I mean, if people people are programming in, uh, in higher level languages. Uh, why should uh, uh, machine code be important? Well, um, if you uh, see, uh, if you notice that 99% uh, uh, of uh, 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 desktop and and uh, uh, servers uh, and uh, uh, laptops are based on Intel x86 ISA. Uh, Mobile devices are based on ARM, uh, ISA, uh, 99%, and 100% of mainframes are based on the IBM uh, System 360 uh, ISA. So, uh, uh, why uh, they don't mix? Uh, why, why, uh, does, uh, why, why doesn't Intel make uh, 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 mobile devices? Well, they tried, but uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's, it's hard for them because uh, uh, to, to, to enter this uh, new market for them. Right? Uh, also, why doesn't ARM make servers? Well, they tried. Well, uh, uh, well why, why there are no uh, ARM servers? There, there are, but they're not so uh, successful. It's hard to, to, to get into this, uh, this market. Um, so, as you see, I say uh, can be really important, and it is. Um, so, uh, well, how come uh, uh, this this this, uh, uh, this ISA uh, uh, is is important? How, how does it all work? Well, um, it all comes to CPU design. Uh, the main uh, two parts of CPU design are data path and um, control part of, of, of the CPU. Data path is the muscle, uh, the brawn uh, of the CPU. And uh, the con uh, control part is the brain, which controls what uh, what the data path is doing. Uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, biggest part, uh, biggest challenge for, for 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 the designers of the uh, uh, of, of control uh, uh, circuitry uh, was to uh, get uh, was to, was to get it right. Uh, and um, because at the time. Uh, logic was very, very expensive uh, in, in comparison to, to ROM. Uh, it was the age of vacuum tubes. Uh, and uh, 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 Mercury delayed uh, lines as, as RAM. So uh, logic was expensive. ROM was expensive and slow. 
and ROM was cheap and fast. So the answer to that was microprogramming. Um, and uh, which uh, uh, basically introduced a concept where, where uh, uh, instructions uh, were uh, actually uh, a way to, to access the code in ROM, uh, in, in ROM uh, uh, which, which was uh, then named microcode. So in this way, we got the complex instructions, where, where one instruction uh, uh, actually caused execution of microcode program in, in, inside ROM. In this way, uh, ROM uh, uh, got to be used more efficiently. Uh, so what exactly is risk? As you can see, uh, 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 um, um, this sort of um, way of microprogramming created uh, so-called complex instructions, instructions which can do many things, uh, uh, because it, it uh, uh, was uh, used to to call uh, uh, basically a microprogram from from the ROM memory. Um, uh, so, uh, the instructions got more and more complex, even in the, into the age of the solid-state device. Uh, for example. Uh, VAX uh, had an instruction, uh, was called poly, which was used to calculate uh, the, the value of a polynome in a, in, uh, a, 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 in a single point, so, uh, which was sort of strange for instruction to be, to, to, to be used in, uh, uh, in, in, in that way, but uh, uh, it, it went uh, up, up to that level. So, when the microprocessor came, uh, 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 the, the, uh, they kept the, the logic of the mini, mini computers from, from previous era. So uh, co complex instructions were, uh, were um, uh, the main thing. But um, uh, the thing is, uh, oh, oh, these complex instructions take a lot of time to execute. And uh, 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 they are fairly uh, un uh, unpleasant for, for uh, uh, modern uh, parallelization uh, the, the techniques like pipelining. Uh, so, uh, in the uh, uh, early 80s, IBM uh, developed a system called IBM uh, 801, John Cock, the IBM, uh, which was uh, later uh, 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 evolved into IBM Power uh, the series. Uh, before that, the uh, uh, start of, of the, of the um, simplification of, the, of, of instructions in order to, to execute them more, uh, uh, um, more rapidly uh, was uh, uh, at this uh, CDC, uh, young engineer at the time, Seymour Cray, designed uh, uh, CDC uh, uh, 6600. Uh, which was one of the first um, supercomputers at the time. Um, later, uh, after uh, the, the IBM uh, at Berkeley, uh, RISC, uh, uh, RISC uh, uh, processor was uh, designed uh, as a first as an academic uh, example. Uh, uh, followed by Stanford MIPS, uh, then ARM, uh, 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 HPPA, RISC, which uh, were all uh, uh, this, uh, 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 made in this uh, new RISC fashion. So what is RISC? Um, it's a sort of a, uh, it's, a, it's a type of the, of, the, of the instruction set architecture, and it's named after Berkeley RISC because Berkeley RISC was uh, the first uh, um, public uh, specification of, of, of such, a, such a processor, uh, which was published uh, pub publicly. Um, typically, RISC uh, has a small number uh, of, uh, of, of clocks per, per, per instruction, and uh, uh, it has uh, uh, special instructions for uh, load and store of memory. It's, it's called load and store architecture. Of course, uh, uh, once the RISC was uh, uh, was coined, RISC uh, 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 be uh, became opposite of CISC. RISC, uh, if, if it is reduced uh, uh, instruction set computer, then CISC is is complex instruction set computer. Uh, so. 
uh, today, uh, CISC, I say, are more uh, expressive, uh, more like higher level languages because uh, they, they, can, they can afford to be, uh, which, uh, which, cause, uh, which causes uh, you know, programs to be denser. Uh, RISC, I say, uh, uh, on, on, on the other hand, maps well to the uh, 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 high performance pipelines and other techniques of, uh, of, of, of parallelizing uh, execution. Uh, of course, uh, CISC instructions can be translated into, into uh, sort of uh, RISC uh, micro operations. Uh, but uh, in, uh, in, the, in, in the past th 30 years uh, or so or more, um, uh, um, all the ISA that have been designed uh, were actually risk risk ISAs. Um, so uh, this is risk, and uh, uh, um, now uh, about uh, a word or two about the open standards. Uh, uh, in most of the, uh, of, of, the, of, the uh, of the computer field, we have uh, some sort of open standards. Uh, when it comes to software, we have operating systems uh, like POSIX uh, standard. Uh, uh, we, ha we have we uh, have um, high-level languages, uh, databases, uh, uh, graphic uh, languages, uh, uh, network. Uh, uh, we have uh, internet network, TCP/IP networks. But uh, for the ISA, we have the rule of the two main uh, ISA families, which are uh, x86, Intel x86, and ARM, uh, both of which are very expensive if you try to use them. Any, uh, anyone uh, here uh, uh, tried to design their own processor? No? Well, if, if you try, uh, uh, you you can invent something on your own, which which can be really tricky, uh, or try to use uh, one of those two. Uh, 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 X86 is uh, virtually impossible to to get license from from Intel or or, or AMD, and ARM uh, license uh, is very very expensive, both for the ISA or for the IP cores. So. Uh, what we need is an open, what is required is, is, is an open standard um, ISA, so which uh, could be used not only on, on virtual machines, it could be, uh, should be used uh, on, on the real uh, uh, native hardware, uh, which, could, uh, which should work well with uh, existing software in, uh, infrastructure like uh, um, uh, pro programming languages, operating systems, and stuff like that. Uh, it, could, it should suit all, all CPU sizes, from the uh, uh, IoT uh, application uh, to the supercomputers and, and, and GPUs. Um, uh, it should suit uh, most or all uh, implementation technologies and should be uh, efficient for, for all uh, microarchitectures. Um, and it should, it should support all sort of special, uh, special, uh, specializations, like uh, you know, uh, a specific type, uh, type of, of, of chips, like uh, GPUs, DLA, deep learning accelerators, and all, all the other types of accelerators. Uh, there have been uh, attempts in the past, like Spark, um, uh, made by, by Sun. I, I remember he remembers Sun Microsystems. Uh, they uh, uh, they have tried to to make the, to make their uh, 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 their CPU architecture open. Uh, in fact, they made it into a standard in 1984. But uh, um, uh, in 2010, Oracle bought Sun, and uh, basically uh, uh, that is the end of Spark development, as far as I know. Uh, they have been uh, attempting early 2000 with the open risk. Uh, it was uh, a new GPL uh, CPU design um, based on the um, DLX architecture from uh, uh, the book um, uh, uh, Computer Architecture Quantitative Approach by uh, uh, John Hennessy and, and Dave, Dave Patterson. But uh, it, uh, it did suffer from, from uh, uh, many, uh, many shortcomings and did not uh, really uh, to, uh, manage to take off. 
Um, so, um, people at Berkeley who, who originally designed uh, uh, RISC, Berkeley RISC, uh, together with uh, some younger forces, uh, uh, have decided to uh, uh, make yet another generation of RISC, which would uh, fit into, in, into all these re requirements. Uh, actually, uh, not not uh, at first. First, uh, they just uh, try to develop something that that, uh, that will be suitable for for, for, for classes uh, at the university. But uh, neither uh, architecture at the market uh, is suitable for that. So they have tried to, to design their own. Uh, it started as a three-month project, uh, and uh, people started uh, using that uh, outside of, of of the U.S. Berkeley. UC Berkeley, and uh, um, they, they were really um, amazed when people start uh, when when it, when they changed something in the in the instruction set, and people uh, and got emails from people. So what are you doing? Why are you changing this? We we started using it. Okay, so um, they started uh, um, making it into into real uh, standard, and first public risk five specification has been published in 2011. So these are the generations of uh, risk uh, uh, of Berkeley risk. Uh, so, uh, so so far, uh, uh, this is the the uh, latest one. Oh, I, actually, it's, it's it's the first risk five tape out. Um, why uh, is uh, is this important? Why is risk five important? Well, because uh, it is uh, uh, simple enough and small enough to be uh, presented, for example, in uh, in classes, and it uh, uh, is simpler and smaller than any other commercial ISA. Uh, it's a clean slate design, so it doesn't have the burden of of, of some sort of legacy uh, uh, architecture, which it needs to be compatible with. And it uh, uh, clearly separates between privileged and user mode. Uh, it is modular and extensible because it has uh, one um, basic uh, uh, ISA st standard base, uh, basic ISA, and uh, for for all the other purposes, it has extensions. Uh, what is uh, important is that this uh, uh, basic ISA and the extensions are uh, frozen. They cannot change once once they are uh, published. They, they cannot change. So the, the, there are no. Uh, the, so so uh, it, it is guaranteed that if uh, if, if a CPU, uh, if, if you write a program for, for for a current CPU, it will work in a uh, CPU in uh, in future. Uh, these are this this is the timeline uh, from from 2011 up to 2016. Uh, 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 these are all um, uh, academic uh, cores, and uh, well, uh, uh, this is a risk five instruction set. Uh, it's, uh, it's called the green card. Uh, it's a reference to the IBM 360 green card, uh, which, uh, which was uh, then popular in, 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 the, in, in the late 60s for the, for the IBM uh, 360 uh, computer family. Uh, uh, and this is it. These are all all instructions. Uh, well, actually, the base the basic instructions are uh, uh, the basic set is is just uh, this. Uh, and these are extensions, of, uh, uh, extensions for for multiplication and uh, and division, multiple divide, uh, um, atomic uh, instructions, uh, uh, and. Uh, what will uh, for, 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 for the floating point, uh, and uh, these are for. Uh, uh, I don't see. Uh, okay, uh, and, and these are these are for uh, um, for compressed uh, 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 instruction set. So uh, these are uh, uh, basically uh, uh, the families. Uh, uh, there are three basic families, uh, actually four. 32-bit, uh, 64-bit, uh, uh, and 128-bit uh, family, uh, both of which work um, 
uh, 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 both of which are, 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 are all of which are, are frozen, and uh, less uh, than 50 instructions. Actually, I think it's 47 in uh, in a basic set. So. Uh, and they're all in fixed 32-bit uh, format, except for the compressed instruction set, which are, are made to, to uh, make better use of RAM and uh, uses 16-bit uh, uh, instructions. Uh, besides, uh, it has a 31 register. Um, there are two versions of 32-bit uh, architecture, um, um, uh, embedded and, and so-called normal. Uh, uh, RV32 uh, um, I um, I uh, means integer, and all the other letters are uh, actually um, uh, marks of the extension that uh, that uh, uh, particular CPU uh, supports. Uh, so ISA is open; you can use it. But there are also uh, uh, cores, uh, IP cores, which you can which you can use. Uh, open source. Uh, there are two main core families uh, 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 which are open. Uh, first one is, is Rocket. Uh, this is uh, 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 Rocket Chip Core. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 32 or 60-bit single-issue uh, core. Um, is, it is comparable to the uh, uh, ARM uh, M series, microcontroller series, uh, because it, uh, uh, it's, uh, it is in order. Um, uh, uh, and the, uh, the, of course, they are out of order uh, cores, means uh, uh, which are 64-bit uh, dual and quad issue, which are comparable to the uh, ARM A family uh, cores. Of course, there are many other cores which are used in in, uh, in classes, and uh, these uh, cores are implemented in, in a, a specially designed. Uh, uh, hardware uh, design language called Chisel. Chisel is short for constructing hardware uh, in a Scala uh, embedded language, uh, which, were, uh, which was also designed at, uh, at the Berkeley University. So uh, um, why uh, they, they chose to do uh, their own language? Well, it, it allows you to uh, generate uh, uh, Verilog files uh, for uh, ASIC, for FPGA, and uh, C++ uh, C++ code for, for for simulator, which uh, can be useful. Um, of course, there are many uh, uh, cores designed outside of, of, of Berkeley. These are some, uh, just just some of, of, of them, um, uh, which are uh, so ETH uh, Zurich University of Bologna uh, designed their own. Um, RISC-V is, is, a, is a, uh, accepted as a standard uh, ISA in uh, India, actually. Uh, India is really keen to have uh, their own uh, complete uh, uh, architecture covered, so they have uh, uh, adapted it as, as their standard ISA, and they have given um, uh, Funding to, for the uh, several institutions to build their own cores, which which, which would then be used in Indian industry. So, one of them uh, is uh, uh, Shakti, and uh, is 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 really uh, uh, is, is already finished, and uh, I think they started production of it. Um, there are several other projects, a low risk project uh, uh, in Cambridge. One of the uh, uh, um, co-founders of the of the uh, um, Raspberry Pi project uh, is uh, um, also um, uh, funded uh, this low risk project, which which uh, uh, probably means that uh, Risk Five is going to find its way into some new version of, of Raspberry Pi. We'll see, uh, and uh, many others. Of course, uh, there are uh, many commercial. Uh, 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 already um, um, uh, cores. Um, 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 most of them were designed by C5. C5 is company founded by uh, the guys who who who, who designed RISC-V, uh, and they have 
course uh, uh, which you can uh, use uh, to, to to build your, uh, to, to build your own uh, CPU. So, what is the difference between uh, open source and these with these IP cores? Well, uh, these IP cores are closed source for a specific reason because uh, fabs or manufacturers of uh, 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 chip manufacturers. Uh, actually have their own secret sauce which is necessary for for them to produce in, 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 the, in the fabrication process so they need to to uh, make uh, uh, closed source cores to, uh, in, in order to be able to to directly pr produce them in the factory so basically you can just select cores uh, which you want to use uh, pay a certain amount of money which is far less then uh, you would pay for for, for, for ARM core, and uh, you had uh, your own processor. For, for example, uh, these are several, uh, I think about hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars. These, these cores uh, and the ARM core, uh, is, uh, I think you uh, you need to pay f per per um, specimen. I, uh, I'm not sure, uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, this allows uh, people to build their own uh, processors, uh, just like uh, ordering pizza, more or less. Uh, uh, what is significant also that Nvidia has selected uh, RISC-V for their uh, for their uh, uh, for, their, uh, uh, for, for use. For example, they have a uh, um, front-end um, uh, controller at their GPUs and uh, Integra pro, uh, uh, SOC lines. Uh, uh, if you, uh, if anyone has heard about Falcon chip, Falcon chip uh, uh, is, is a microcontroller which receives receives um, commands from uh, the, the operating system. Well, actually, this one should be based uh, on uh, uh, RISC five really soon. Um, Western Digital for 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 the for the, uh, for, the uh, for their. Uh, Storage devices uh, have also designed uh, microcontroller based on RISC-V, uh, and there are many, many, many others. Uh, NVIDIA and Digital are, are currently the biggest. Uh, I, I would say that ARM uh, is particularly not happy about this. They have launched several um, smear campaigns to try to, to, to discredit RISC-V, but uh, so far they haven't been uh, 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 successful with that. Uh, Anyway, uh, these are uh, um, uh, the, the cores that uh, uh, C5 is, is, is currently uh, 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 offering. Um, uh, these these uh, uh, E series uh, are, are based on this rocket chip, this rocket chip with, with some secret sauce, uh, which enables production. And uh, um, U54 uh, is uh, um, based on the boom uh, core. So, um, e cores are all, all, all uh, in order, um, have a, sm a small cache, uh, 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 but, uh, uh, but uh, they are m uh, uh, mostly meant to be uh, um, microcontrollers. And um, uh, U uh, core uh, is meant to, to be executing operating system like Linux or something else, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so there are um, sev uh, several uh, SOC families based, based on, on, uh, on, on these cores, because today uh, people are, are not uh, interested in, in, um, in, in, uh, in single, single processes, less and less. The uh, uh, main uh, market is for the SOC uh, system on chip, right? So. Um, uh, uh, s uh, system on chip uh, 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 based on uh, on the E core is called Freedom Everywhere, and uh, based on the U chip uh, is called Freedom Unleashed. Uh, this is uh, um, Freedom Everywhere uh, um, FE 310. Um, uh, it is uh, made in uh, 180 nanometer technology by by TSMC, so it is it is production chip. Uh, uh, 
it, uh, it goes, uh, the frequency goes up to 320 megahertz, uh, and uh, uh, it's, it, it is meant to be uh, mostly IoT controller. Um, it has a, a, a whole range of, of, peripheral, of peripherals already uh, uh, integrated because it is meant uh, for, for it to be uh, IoT device. So um, here is um, FE3 uh, 310 in comparison to some other uh, SOCs like uh, uh, Arduino uh, uh, based uh, at Mega uh, at no, at Mega 328P. Um, which is uh, which runs on, on 16 megahertz. Well, it's it's, it's not wonder because uh, uh, that that uh, uh, FE 310 uh, uh, is uh, wins the the um, the speed contest, uh, but it also wins the efficiency contest. So uh, um, here are uh, boards based on on the uh, on this. Uh, FA310. Uh, in fact, I have I have one here. Uh, uh, I don't know if we can see, see it. Okay. Uh, it's basically Arduino. Uh, mm, it's basically Arduino board, uh, but uh, but it's based on uh, based on on Risk Five. Um, uh, it, it, it is completely com c compatible with uh, Arduino. Uh, um, and it, uh, it, it, uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, Maker uh, Association for Noise Hat for letting me show this on my presentation. Thanks. Um, so, um, uh, besides Hi-5-1, uh, hi which, which I just showed, uh, there are several others, uh, among them Arduino Cinque, uh, which is uh, uh, not out yet, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm told, because some, some problems that they have uh, at Arduino. I don't know who is, who is going to buy them or not. Uh, but uh, um, uh, what uh, does Hi-5 uh, do beside uh, being Arduino compatible? Well, uh, it has uh, 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 large uh, 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 number of, uh, of pins, but it has uh, a slightly larger uh, flash memory, and uh, 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 it, it, it is, uh, as I said, uh, a lot faster. So, uh, 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 it is the fastest Arduino in the world, as uh, uh, I'm told, uh, uh, which can be seen from from from, from the comparison chart. Uh, here is compared to uh, Arduino 101, Arduino Zero, Arduino Uno, uh, um, uh, based on Interkiri. Uh, 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 Arduino 328P. So here and SOC U54, FU54, is based on uh, on the U uh, core. And it's capable of running Linux. It is the only uh, 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 core. Uh, it is the only uh, physical CPU uh, uh, based on RISC V technology which is able to run Linux, and it is the fastest one. Uh, it has four cores uh, uh, which are uh, meant for execution. One core which which was uh, which is made for for, uh, for power management and stuff like that, uh, and. And uh, uh, it has uh, 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 gigabit uh, Ethernet, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, and uh, it is made in uh, in 28 nanometer technology also by by, by, by TSMC. So uh, it is available. So. Uh, they have made a, a, a test board, uh, High Five Unleashed. Uh, I, I don't have it here because uh, it, uh, this board is uh, uh, much more expensive. Uh, one costs about thousand uh, dollars, I think, at the moment, because it is one of the uh, few specimens who, 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 who can run Linux. Um, it has uh, a 32 megabyte uh, 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 SPI flash uh, on board, uh, plus micro SD card, um, and uh, the, uh, an expansion connector, which uh, uh, can, can connect it to uh, expansion board, which is basically uh, a main board for this for for, for, for the computer. Uh, uh, this this configuration was used. And the first one this year to play uh, to, to to demonstrate uh, Quake on it. They have uh, they have run Linux successfully and, and uh, run Quake uh, on it. Uh, uh, so most of the other uh, software uh, runs uh, uh, on this uh, platform. Um, actually, Linux from uh, from version 4.15 uh, uh, is uh, has has mainline support for RISC five. Fedora 29 has has support for for as far Debian has uh, about uh, 80 percent eighty percent uh, uh, of, of, of packages translated. Uh, BSD pre BSD is, uh, is is translated. Zephyr uh, operating system. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Compilers uh, 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 like GCC, LLVM, <coughs> and, and, and all the other comp uh, tool, tool, cha tool, tool chains are, uh, are also available. Sim simulators uh, uh, and uh, uh, for Hi-Fi One, uh, there are uh, uh, there is support for for the uh, Arduino uh, IDE uh, for. Uh, the, uh, uh, and beside that, they have their own SDK, uh, and uh, uh, Risk Five uh, is uh, um, also described in, in, uh, uh, by, the, by the latest uh, editions of the, of the famous uh, titles: Computer Organization and Design and Computer Architecture Quantitative Approach. Uh, but, uh, which is uh, uh, not, uh, ex expected because the authors of these books are also the authors of Risk Five. Uh, so um, uh, right now, I would uh, uh, give uh, a stage to my uh, co colleague, uh, a student, uh, Lazar Djurovic, who has who, have, who has uh, uh, made a simulation uh, of, of Risk Five. Uh, um, uh, he was able to do that uh, uh, even though he's just a high school student. So, give him a round of applause, please. Uh, thank you. As Professor said, I'm a high school student and I got interested in CPUs when I was like 14. And I started like building some custom CPUs and it was all very amateur and I, I didn't know in which direction to go. So the the biggest uh, help that I that I could get was in applied physics and electronics course here in my high school and also in Petnica research station and uh, I also had some subjects in in school which were about computer architecture and also when I moved here to Novi Sad I I went to like Hackerspace Tilda Center, there is a big open source community, and uh, I talked to people about how, I, how I'm interested in CPUs, and uh, someone told me, uh, you should take a look at RISC-V, and uh, I read some things, I read like data sheet, and I was not so impressed, and I didn't understand the, the importance of it. So in, uh, in Maker Serbia, uh, a man told me you should go to to see Professor Stričević. Uh, he he's interested in Risk Five and he can maybe help you with your project. And 
I went to professor, we, we talked a bit, he, he che checked out my code and he said, you know, you shouldn't do this like, like you've done, maybe you should check this website or this, this book. So, my reference is this book, uh, which professor talked about. So I'm using uh, VHDL and uh, it's a harder description language and uh, it's not like programming language, you, you describe how uh, electronics inside of FPGA will be connected and uh, I divided my CPU into smaller modules which are all described in this book and uh, the, I divided it so I can make a module and then make a test bench for it and if it passes, it's good. If it, if it doesn't pass, it's not. So the, this uh, simplified the development. So project is still, development is still in progress. And my goal is to be RV32i compatible. So it means I can run all the integer instructions, which professor talked about. And for now, I have only seven instructions. But those seven instructions represent all the instruction types. I have register to register, immediate, store, and branch instructions. And uh, for now, it runs on 100 megahertz. Uh, also, the project is very small itself. It's got like 600 lines of code. And it, it's, it's meant to be easy to, to understand. And for, for students, uh, high school uh, or maybe even elementary school uh, students to, to understand. Uh, so now maybe we should go to demonstration. Here is the wa waveform, like how, how my signals change in time. And here, this is uh, this. This is program counter. So it starts from zero and uh, it it increments by four because every instruction is uh, four bytes in size. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, here are the inputs of the arithmetic and logic unit. And this, this program is last, it adds three and three. Uh, and also you can see this, that uh, here, the, the output is a bit delayed. So it, it happens because when you are, for example, here, everything is synchronized on the rising edge. So here you get information from the clock cycle before. And that's why this output is a bit delayed. Also, down here you can see all the control signals, uh, which tell us uh, how the ALU and the other parts should behave. This is like branch flag, uh, memory read, also uh, memory to register. And these two here, down here are uh, for ALU source. So it tells uh, if we should get the parameter from the register, or it will be immediate field in the instruction. And the last one is ALU operation, which just tells the ALU which operation to do. And so that's, that's the end of the demonstration. Thank you. Now I think we're ready for your questions, if there are any. Are there any questions? Hello. Uh, I have a question for your assistant. Did you try running these instructions on an FPGA chip? Uh, no, currently just the simulation, but I'm working on it. Okay, if, if you need FPGA chips from the Faculty of Technical Sciences, you can contact the professor or me. We can find you some. Thank you. More questions? Um, it's for your student again. I, so I know that you 
kind of built that uh, a CPU, and I'm wondering if that's the simulation. Uh, no, no, the the CPU I showed last year was my custom CPU, and it it, it doesn't have any special architecture. So this is this is the the continuation of my work on CPUs. Nice work. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you very much.